Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is our follow-up session of ServiceNow Service Portal Training. Before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this particular session, we are going to talk about themes. Now, themes are the important component of service portal because when you create a portal, what kind of elements, what kind of styling, what kind of colors you want to show to the users that what you can do with the help of themes. We just learned about the brand editor. We just do some uh, basic configurations of the coloring. But now when you do more customization around styling of service portal that you can do with the help of themes. What are we going to learn in this session? We are going to talk about what is a theme CSS that is cascading styling sheets and then ways of adding styling in service portal. Our first topic is what is a theme? As you can see on the screen, we have this theme record theme form that is a stock. That's the name of the theme. So new themes can be created for service portal if more styling is needed. Themes are associated with portals. One theme can be used in different portals. Header and footer can also be configured in theme. This is what theme is. So as I mentioned, if you want to do some more customization around styling, you want to give really better styling to the users, better colors at the top and at the bottom, maybe in the middle, you can do with the help of themes. Ways to create theme. Now, there are two ways where you can create themes in ServiceNow, and that is in your service portal. So the first way is with the application navigator in service portal application, you have a module that is called themes. When you will click on themes, it will show you the list of themes you have in your instance. And if you want to create new, there will be a button at the top, which will give you that new button and you click on that and then you'll be able to create a new theme record. The other way to create a theme is that is via portal tables. So as you can see, if you click on service portal configuration, you go to portal tables at the top, click on themes, it will show you this. And you have this new button and you can create a new uh, theme via this as well. So these are the two ways. This is how you can create a themes. So with the help of application navigator and you can go via portal tables, which shows all the tables you have in ServiceNow portals. Theme form. Let's talk about how exactly your form looks like in theme. So as you can see, this is the theme form. When you will create a new theme, it will show you these fields on the form and two related lists which are at the bottom. So the first field we have is name. So you, you will definitely give, you want to give a name to the uh, theme which you are creating. So that will be name of the theme. Then you have application here. You will select the scope of the application if it is global scope or it is some private scope or any other application you are developing. Then we have header. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that header and footer can also be configured in in themes. So it has two fields. One is header. Another is footer. So in header, it, it's a reference field. So there is a different table where you can create header. And then there's a, another field we have footer, which is also referencing, referencing to the footer. That is a different table where you can refer the footer of the theme as well. And if you want these header and footer to be fixed, that you can do with the help of these checkboxes where you can make it as a fixed. If you want to make it uh, have a header as fixed, you can do that with this checkbox. Or if you want to do uh, a footer as fixed, that's what you can do. Then we have CSS variables. 
Now here you identify the theme level style styling definition. So when you are creating a theme, what kind of styling you want to give, you can mention right here. Whatever styling you have, you can mention in this particular, it, it gives you the styling, CSS styling. You can put the colors, whatever, as you can see, says text color, default, uh, body, background. You can do it with the help of CSS variables. As I mentioned, uh, then you also have a related list here where you have this first related list as CSS includes, that is a styling sheet, style sheets you want to include in this particular theme form or in particular in, in this particular theme. And then we have JS includes that what kind of JavaScripts you want to add, what kind of JavaScript libraries you want to add, that's what you can do with the help of JS includes. Now, whatever changes you do with the help of branding editor that overrides the theme level CSS. And that's a really important point to know. CSS. Now, I'm not going to talk about or train you complete CSS, but just give you the little bit glimpse of CSS, how exactly you are going to use that. Now, CSS is the cascading style sheets. It consists of selection and declaration block. We can write it once, but we can use many. That's what you can do. So as an example, you can see we have this uh, CSS written when we say H3. H3 is, is your, is your uh, header, basically, the head. That's what you mentioned when you, when you put the title in HTML. I have written in the capital letter, but it should be in small letter. That would be H3. And then you have this property and value. So the first one is the HTML element selector. And then you have declaration where you have property and value. So we have given the two declaration here. One is the color and another one is the text align. So we have two properties here, the color and the text align. So all the H3 elements of your HTML will be designed automatically with this particular styling, which we are putting right here. So we are putting the value as blue and the text align on right. That's what it will do. And every on every H3 element, wherever you are using H3 element of HTML, it will automatically change the styling as per this styling. And that's the reason we are saying write one once and, and just use many. Bootstrap and font awesome CSS classes can also be used. So in your styling, uh, uh, ServiceNow has already given you the classes of Bootstrap and Font Font SM. It has already been referred. So if you will directly use your Bootstrap and Font Awesome classes, you can do that. Font Awesome is also kind of a different third-party classes. You can search on Google. It just kind of a, uh, a classes uh, just to do styling. That's what you can do with the help of Font Awesome. And Bootstrap, you must be aware, it just, uh, it's just, it's a technology, it's a framework which, which gives you better UI experience. And that's what you can do. It also have different libraries which you can utilize in your style sheets. Ways of adding a styling. Now, this is really important part. How can you add styling in themes? So you must have seen, we, we saw there was a one field at the top and we had one related list record where you can add the styling. So let's take a look. So if I go to the next section, it says it shows you the exact steps. So you can see we can add CSS variables. We can uh, put the styling, whatever styling we want. And then we can go at the bottom where you can do edit and it will refer and it will show you all the style sheets that is a different table and you can select that record add it once it will be added this particular theme will be utilizing those style sheets if you will click on save it will be saved it is just a related list adding a record and if you don't want to use the existing one if you want to create a new one you can click on new create the new one it will also tell you that what style sheet you want to refer you have to create that style sheet and use it here and you can also put the source whether you want to use the url or you want to uh, use the existing style sheets so that is what you can do with the help of this
the next section will be about portal but how exactly you can create a new portal and also as we are done with branding editor we are done with themes and we will be done with portal once we'll be done with these three uh, these three topics I will post a video which will be related to the demo of all these components that how can you create a new portal by selecting a new theme and changing something in configuration of branding editor so thanks for watching my video please subscribe like and share my channel and all my videos have a great day